it's your girl Nessa welcome back to another video and as you have seen prior I was getting this wig installed and this wig is from so this wig is from West Kiss Hair and this is a 36 inch wig that they sent to me and this wig is so long yesterday the curls were popping but I'm going to stand up and show you guys how long this hair is. Literally, it goes under my butt. So, I'm going to show you guys today how to basically wand curl your hair. So, this hair is super long. The only thing I can say about it is it does get a little matted up a little bit. I feel like the only reason why it gets matted up is because it's so freaking long I feel like Rapunzel so yeah we're gonna curl this hair today and I'm gonna show you guys too my natural no makeup look or whatever so yeah this hair is really nice but like I said it does get matted up I feel like I should have washed it first before applying it on um so I do recommend that Another thing too is that this hair or this wig is on the smaller side. It's a little tight for me, but it works. Well, my stylist made it work, but it is a little bit more on the tighter side. So yeah. And another thing too is this wig, since it's so long, it is a one no it's 200 density it's a 200 density wig and honestly the density was all like kind of in the frontal it was so hard to do this wig because i felt like this wig it was so much density in the frontal that my stylist had to pluck it a lot so yeah that's all i can say is that it gets matted up a little bit, but I feel like I was supposed to wash it before applying it on. And as you can see. And on top of that, I just feel like with long hair, long hair just gets matted up so freaking fast. Like, jeez louise, papa cheese. I do like it a lot. I like the fact that it is thicker since it's so long, but... The density is all in the frontal, personally, is how I feel. So I'm going to show you guys how to wand curl this hair. And then I'm going to show you guys my natural no makeup look. Don't mind the background. You guys know. Well, if you don't know already, I have a puppy. So he's barking out there. So do not mind that. So uh, this front is about a day old. Um... Uh, it's not that bad. But it is pretty damn thick. So before I even start styling it, I am going to hot comb my wig. Hot combs are so important if you wear wigs. So definitely 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 recommend 
for you to invest into a really good hot comb i can't stress this enough i said this before and honestly this is my favorite hot comb i bought hot combs before from the beauty supply store but this one is the best one and this one is the one from kendra's boutique super cute too but this mug gets hot hot i don't really recommend to put too much of it on your braille hair if you do make sure it's on low because this mother freaker will burn your head but yeah like overall this hair is super good super super good so it's definitely good to it's definitely good to hot comb your hair so the next is i'm going to section my hair off to curl it so I'm gonna start off with the front part first cuz this hair is so freaking thick I'm not gonna really put any product in it because I feel like with wigs and stuff I personally like my wigs to have no product in the wig um, because I just feel like sometimes it makes the hair like too waxy. So I'm going to go off with the front piece. The curls I'm going for is more of a wanded curl. I personally like more wand curls. When I'm doing my right side, I like to curl inwards. Which I'm going to show you guys one more time. So I'm going to grab a piece. And... I'm going to place my wand underneath the hair and curl it around. So this curling iron is from Amazon. So I like to hold it on for a little bit. I feel like with wigs or weave, it's very hard to style and curl. And you have to have like a really good curler. So I do recommend this one. And this one was very, very inexpensive. So I'm going to lightly twirl it up. Do the same exact thing for this piece. I'm gonna do the top piece. I like to hold the top pieces on a little bit longer because that's what I really care about the most. So yeah, I'm gonna curl this and kind of like fast forward it a little bit. I love me a natural kind of beachy curl, um, especially with long hair. I feel like it just looks so like effortless and like very natural. So personally, I like curling my hair with wands. I don't recommend nothing thicker than this wand because I feel like the thicker it is, it won't the curls won't last as long and if you're going for more of like a curly curler, curly curly look you could definitely do something skinnier but it's not gonna give you that beach wave look you don't want to do the sections too big because if you do it too big too the curls won't be like as tight um, I feel like the thicker pieces here you grab, the less curly it is. And for the end part, I do leave the end part out because I like it to look more straight at the ends. I really don't recommend to brush out the curls yet until you're going to complete it with the entire head. Because I feel like if you brush it out right away, the curls kind of just like fall after you're done with your entire head. So do keep the curls in until you're done with your head curling it. So yeah, what do you guys think about my new setup? I'm not completely done with it, but it is in the makings. I'm waiting for some of my decor stuff to come in, but this is basically it. I'm like debating on my background. I don't know if I want this window as my background. Or like a plain white background i don't know yet i'm gonna kind of move everything around and play with it a little bit and then i'll kind of like decide on what i want to do but yeah this is basically it for my background you know 
Um, I'm super excited for my new setup. I can't wait to start recording more for you guys because this is definitely something I want to do. So, period. How's everybody been? What's up with you guys? I know it's been a little minute since I did like a sit down, get ready with me. And another thing, when you're curling your hair, you do want to make sure that your hair is brushed out. Because you don't want to curl, obviously, over like matted up hair or hair that's like kind of frizz up. So you do want to make sure you brush your hair for sure. So I'm going to curl this rest of the side and I'll be right back. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to curl this side. Just make sure you brush it. So I'm going to grab a little piece. A little bit more here. I'm gonna grab a little piece. And remember how I was telling you guys that on this side you will lay the hair like this? You wanna lay the curler on top and then wrap the hair around it. You know, but these curls are definitely very fun for all year round. I personally like these curls because, like I said, they look more natural, more effortless type of look. So, yeah. Same thing. So the only thing I can say is, whew, curling this 36 inch is a workout. So I personally would just have my stylist curl it, but I want to show you guys that you guys could definitely the same curls as your stylist. And like I said before, it's so hard to find like a good, a good curler that is good for like to hold curls or to that's hot enough for wigs or like weave to actually like curl. Because I know before I used to struggle with it so much because the curlers that I use for my real hair and the curlers that I, if I use the curls for my real hair, if I use the curler that I use for my real hair, I just know that it will not curl like weave or um, bundles or a wig. It just don't last long compared to my real hair. I don't have a mirror yet. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. So I'm kind of like freestyling. Hopefully I'm not burning myself. So this is it. This hair is so freaking long. Before I even brush the curls out, I want to show you guys my no makeup kind of look because I posted a I posted a picture on Instagram on my Instagram story of like my face, obviously, and I basically said like my very, 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 very natural makeup look because I'm the type of girl like either I'm gonna go hard with my makeup like full glam, full beats, or natural like this like I really wouldn't wear too, I wouldn't wear makeup really and the look that I I was going for I just was like okay let me try this out because I used to actually do this before and I haven't done it in a while so I'm gonna show you guys how to do like a more natural everyday no makeup kind of look so yes it's very simple you don't need a lot of products so I do recommend to put a primer on. I know before, like, if I wear foundation, I really don't wear too much primer. Let me see if I even have a primer. Give me a minute. So, yeah, before you even start doing this no makeup, makeup kind of look, you want to go in with a primer because we're not going to go in with foundation. Um, usually, I like to wear my foundations with a primer, but with this look, I particularly need a primer. So I'm going to go in with this Milk Hydro Primer. This primer is bomb. Super good. So I'm going to apply some, it's brand new, there we go. So I'm going to use a little bit of this primer and apply it on my face, like so. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of concealer, but I'm going to use a concealer color that's similar to my skin tone. And my face. Sorry, my face is a lot lighter than my body because um, I did spray tan. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan. And I'm just going to apply this a little bit underneath my eyes, around my mouth a little bit. 
and kind of like on my pimples because your girl's been breaking out a little bit then once i'm done with that i'm gonna use a dry beauty blender i'm gonna use a dry beauty blender i personally like this beauty blender this is the elf beauty blender i like to use the elf beauty blender dry i feel like it just blends my concealer a lot better so all i'm gonna do is just lightly pat this Sorry, there's a piece of hair on my face. I'm gonna lightly pat out my concealer. Very lightly. And then a little bit underneath my eyes. You guys know what's crazy? I feel like natural makeup is harder to do than like full glam makeup. Because it's like, you have to like make sure it looks natural. I don't know. I feel like a lot of makeup artists know what i'm talking about because natural makeup is just like you have this ex expectation to using not a lot of makeup but i feel like you you don't use a lot of makeup but it just takes more time to make your face look more natural like it's not as fast as like a full glam for, to me personally and i'm just gonna apply a little bit on my nose then once i'm done with this step i'm gonna go in with a little bit of oops. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of translucent powder so the translucent powder that I'm going in with is I need my other makeup hold on all right so once you're done with the concealer part I'm just gonna set the concealer with a translucent powder this is the one size fit all from Patrick Star and then I'm just going to lightly dust this on the areas where i get oily which is usually like in the center of my face and on my nose is where i get oily the most and just like that once i'm done with that then i'm gonna go in with studio fix powder Ew, my lips. so studio fix powder um the powder the studio fix powder plus foundation so I rave about this powder all the time. I use this on my clients and I also use it on myself. This is a powder that I do like to set foundation with because I like the coverage that it gives. But also too, you can wear this powder by itself. And I'm just going to go in with my Marc Jacobs brush and I'm just going to pat this everywhere on my face. This is a really good powder for like if you want to just like run somewhere really quick and you don't want to put a whole face of makeup on. Or if you just are more of like a natural type of girl, you could definitely put this on and not wear foundation. I really like this powder a lot when it comes to like very natural look. Because this is like a sitter of foundation, but it's just in a powder form. And personally, I'm not mad at powders that's foundation form. Because I used to work at Bare Minerals and Bare Minerals used to work really well too. This is going to give you just a little bit of coverage just to cover up like any redness, um, discoloration. So yeah, this powder is bomb. I do recommend to have this powder in your kit if you don't have it already, girl. So get on it. Get on it. Another good powder that I do also really like a lot too is the Fenty powder. This is the Fenty Beauty, um, the Pro Filter Fenty Powder Soft Matte Powder Foundation. It's similar to this, the Studio Fix Powder. Um, I think this is a little bit more expensive than the Studio Fix Powder. Honestly, the MAC Studio Fix Powder is my holy grail. I love this powder. This powder never fails me. I can say that about the Fenty one, but the MAC Studio Fix Powder has like a special place in my heart. So if my OG makeup artists know, they know. They, if you know, you know, period. So once I'm done with that, I do want to go in with a lighter powder for underneath my eyes. And I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. And this is in the shade 2. This is the shade medium. And I'm just going to go in and lightly just pat this right underneath my eyes this is what gives my skin that very filter looking filter look look it literally smooths out my entire face just like that period once i'm done with that i'm gonna go in with brow stuff 
So, everybody has been talking about the Anastasia brow freeze. And when I tell you guys, I was on a hunt for this. It was sold out everywhere. And then I remember, I think I was going to Atlanta and Sephora had it. And I was like, girl, I need this. This brow gel, you guys, is fire. Literally fire. So... I like my brows to look beat, but when I use this brow freeze, it literally makes my brows look so, like, bushy. Like, that trend that's going right now. Like, bushy, natural-looking eyebrows. So, I'm just going to lightly apply this brow freeze on my brows, like so. And literally just brush my brows in place. Like, I feel like when you brush your eyebrows in place, it just makes your eyebrows look like they're done. As you can see, this brow compared to this brow. <laughs> you guys, I am not joking. Like, this brow freeze is everything. It's almost like, I think I've seen another girl talk about it. She said it's almost like um, edge control, which is, I get, I can, I can see it. I can see it. I can see why she says, like, edge control. I love this. I never really used edge control on my brows before, but this is fire. And like I said, I feel like for me, I'm more of like a, either I go all glam or be like no makeup is because I feel like for brows is what makes me like, I'm not like a big fan of like the natural brow look, but I'm using this brow freeze, I'm not gonna lie. I'm low-key obsessing over it. And I know, like, there's some people that like to use, um, eyebrow, I mean, lash glue. I like the lash glue technique, but when it comes to taking it off, it's a different type of story. Like, that glue is in your brow hairs. Like, look at the big difference that it made. So then... I already have my strips on. These are lash strips. They're not extensions. I wish they was. Um, I honestly don't remember what lashes these are because these are so old. But I just basically had a strip on and then I cut another strip in half and I put at the ends because I like my lashes to look more full at the ends. And then, yeah. So now we're going to go next with lip stuff. So for lips, I'm going to go in with Kim Kardashian's lip liners i low-key think she's not making these no more and i'm low-key upset because honestly these lip liners are so good another good alternate that's very similar in formula is the color pop uh lip liners girl those are like four dollars or three dollars and they work just the same i like the bff2 and bff3 those two colors are bomb i will have a link below for you guys but i'm gonna go in with the shade nude too and i'm going to just line my lip really lightly So, my lips are lined. And then, you guys, this lip gloss. When I tell you guys I posted the picture on my Instagram, everyone was like, what is that on your lips? This lip gloss is from NYX. This is the, this is Milky Lip Gloss. So, I don't know if it's new, but this lip gloss is way better than their butter glosses. The thing I like about this gloss is that it's still like, hydrating and like glossy but it doesn't feel like it's still like glossy and hydrating but it doesn't like come off fast like if it dries on your lips you still feel like you have something on your lips as compared to the butter gloss you guys know the butter gloss when that stuff is gone that stuff is gone and it literally disappears in like minutes <laughs> Literally, I'm obsessed with this gloss. So, if you want, you could definitely add bronzer. I might add a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to try out this new Morphe bronzer from... I don't even know how to say her name. I'm not even going to botch her name. But this is the bronzer that I'm going to try out. And, okay, so this bronzer does have a little bit of shimmer in it. I was like, but let me just try it out. Let's see what sis talking about with this bronzer very very dusty 
You don't have to add the bronzer. I personally really never really add bronzer when I do this natural look, but I feel like I put a lot of powder on, so I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer. So yeah, this is basically the completed look for the no makeup look. And then now, we're going to comb out these curls. You don't have to comb them out if you don't want to, but I like to comb my curls out to make my hair look a little bit fuller, especially since it's longer hair. I'm just going to use a wide tooth comb just to lightly brush these curls out so the reason why i'm not putting any product in this hair is because i feel like when you put product in hair it just gets like really icky and like just like feels nasty so i'm not gonna put any product in this hair i'm literally just going to leave it how it is the only thing i can say is that the next day it is gonna get a little crunchy but the only thing i recommend is to get like a longer bonnet but look as you can see so we're gonna do the edges so I'm gonna use my edge booster this is the pink one this is the extra strength and moisturizing pomade it's made for thick and coarse hair I like to use this one in particular because this one literally makes my very hairs laid all day literally all day so I'm just gonna pick some up and I'm going to let me sit a little closer so my baby hairs are already like kind of there, but I'm just going to lightly push this back a little bit, lay the baby hairs a little bit more. I'm not really um, a big fan of a lot of baby hairs like this, but my stylist wanted to do it on me, so whatever. And then for the sideburns, I'm just going to lightly curve them. So I'm just going to lightly curve them like so. And then same thing for the other side. I'm just going to lay them back down like so, so you guys can see. And then same as I think for the sideburns. As you guys can see, this wig is small on me. Like, you can still see my, like, wig cap. So that's why we did a middle part because literally, no, baby. Yeah, that's basically it for this get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was super easy. Definitely look into getting those powders. Honestly, the char the Charlotte Tilbury isn't a must, but I like it a lot. And literally, you can just wear it by itself. But you could just do Studio Fix powder and stress Fix powder. You'll be totally fine with that. So yeah, what do you guys think about this look? This wig is beat. The only thing is, I wish I would have got a bigger wig because your girl got a big head. I have a big head. I know. I know. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below what your thoughts are. What is your favorite like go-to natural, no makeup type of look? Like if you were to choose a powder, what would be your favorite powder? You know, like I want to know. I want to try new things. So yeah. And if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you guys.